Okay, so I'm not gonna give like a ton of backstory like with my childhood and growing up and all of that. I'm just gonna kind of jump right into it. Um, and keep in mind like this has been some years ago. Um, but basically I met someone and we didn't spend a ton of time together, but as time did progress, um, just through our conversations back and forth, um, I knew like something was off, something just felt really off with this person. Um, and I wanted answers, which obviously they weren't gonna give me. <laughs> so I start doing my own research. I just started Googling. I don't even really know how I came upon like narcissist and narcissistic personality disorder, but I did and a lot of it made sense. It resonated with like this person's actions and things they would do and say or wouldn't do and say. Um, and so that just like sucked me right in. I'm like, oh, okay, like I have found some information. I found some answers. Um, and that led me down uh, a rabbit hole essentially because I started studying psychology, how the brain works, started studying all these different personality disorders, thinking that I had one of them. Like I was just so caught up in how the brain works, just basically just trying to make sense of, um, I was focused more on this person more than I was myself because I didn't want to look at myself. I wanted to focus on this person and their issues and help them. Um, and they did not want my help, <laughs> but I made it my mission to try to help this person. So, um, I feel like, you know, anybody else would have been like, okay, this person is not for me. Like, let me just move on over here and be done with this person. Well, not me. <laughs> I just, I, I'm that way. Like, I'm very inquisitive. Like, I want to know things. And the way this person portrayed themselves to me in the beginning was someone totally different than what they showed me, I don't know, maybe six months after we started talking. So that's why I'm like, I gotta get to the bottom of this because I have an investigative personality. So, um, which the enemy knows that. <laughs> and that's why he chose this person for me to do this to me because, yeah. So anyway, I stumbled upon the twin flame journey and everything about that journey pretty much resonated with me. I was receiving all the signs and synchronicities, stuff that still like just blows my mind to this day because the signs and the downloads that I was receiving, like I was like, how can this not be from God? Because it was so big and like, I was like, this can't be like a coincidence all these times that I'm like seeing these signs and receiving all this stuff. So, um, I resonated with the twin flame journey for years. I mean, I, I, I wasn't really sold on the whole, um, reincarnation thing. Like I didn't really believe in that, but everything else that the twin flame journey talks about, I definitely experienced it. Um, so, I mean, guys, I, me talk, I can't even really put into words, like, this journey, I feel like, led me to hell. Like, it felt like my soul was being tossed back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I mean, just for years, I was severely depressed. Um, I mean, the enemy just really did a number on me um, through that journey. So after my soul had just kind of had enough, I was like, I need to really just go within and, you know, be my best self. So the twin flame journey was kind of like the gateway to the, the new age occult practices, if you will, which the twin flame journey is still a part of that. But um, it led me to um, just like opening up my chakras, meditating, just all the things with the new age, I was like, yes, give it to me. Like, this is what I need. Um, this is gonna help me. And in a lot of ways, I'm not gonna lie, in a lot of ways it did help me um, soothe all of the hurts and aches from the twin flame journey. 
Um, so that's why I truly just put all of my faith into these new age beliefs. Um, I believed that the universe was God, like that I was connected to God through the universe, through nature. Um, I did not see a reason for Jesus anymore because I felt like I had gone through such a dark night of the soul with the flame, twin flame journey that I could access, you know, communication with God without Jesus. And boy, was I wrong. <laughs> oh, I was so wrong. I had it so wrong for so many years. I was completely deceived by the enemy and he knew exactly what he was doing because he, he masquerades himself as love and light. I mean, he can operate so well in the new age because nobody's looking for him. Um, and no joke, like I literally remember messaging an old pastor of mine and I'm like, I, because my soul was just so like tormented and just, I, I could not fully um, wrap my mind around like the need for Jesus because I had gone through my spiritual awakening. I had done all these things and I just truly, truly felt that I could talk to God anytime I wanted to. God was within me. I was a part of God um, without Jesus, you know, and that that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and the only way to the Father is through him. So, and I mean, I was still practicing all this new age stuff, like just I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, like I was even still looking at tarot videos because I was like, like, what was that? Like, what was that twin flame connection that I had? Like still kind of trying to make sense of everything. Um, so I was still scrolling through my phone, still looking at tarot videos, t still fully into the new age practices. Um, you know, I got my certification as a life coach. I was all for, you know, wanting to help people just go within and heal themselves. Um, which, don't get me wrong, I think there are some great benefits to all of that. You know, if you are a life coach and you just want to help people, like, I totally get it. I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying that I still held that belief that, like, I, I was still really iffy about Jesus. And I think the reason I was so iffy about Jesus was because growing up, I, I was taught religion. I wasn't taught the gospel. Um, I held a belief in my heart that my faith and my salvation was based upon works. And that's not the gospel. The gospel is in Christ alone is your salvation. Christ alone. Like there's no works put with it. It's not salvation plus this or your faith plus this like that is what ruins so so many people um, because we're never gonna be good enough there's nothing that we can do that is gonna bring us to the Father like Jesus died on the cross for our sins and the only way to God is through Jesus and <laughs> like Jesus literally just snatched me out of the new age occult and was like you you were deceived like this is not this is not it like you opened yourself up to the enemy he had fully full legal ground to do whatever he wanted to in your life and I mean he disguises himself so well I truly thought that what I was doing was fully good fully God all love and light you know and I was wrong. I was wrong. I have cried my eyes out. I have I've asked for forgiveness because I truly, truly was just deceived beyond my wildest imagination. Um, and I've just been reading my Bible and verses that I stumble upon, I'm just like, wow. Wow. Like, if I would have been reading my Bible, like... I wouldn't have gone so many years thinking that I've had the spiritual awakening and that my third eye has been opened and 
you know, I can access access God anytime I want to because, you know, He's kind of let me in on the secret to life. And no, no, like, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the only way. And I truly see that now. And I'm forever grateful and forever thankful that He pulled me out of this. And I just remember, like, sitting in my car sometimes on my lunch break at work and I would the music I would listen to it's like just pure soul torture I mean I honestly don't even see how I made it through some days because I was just so back and forth and just at my wits end with life in general um, and just trying to make sense of all of this so I just I see now why I see now why I went through all of that you know I do like and I remember getting so mad at God like why are you doing this to me why am I going through this why won't you give me the answers why won't you help me make sense of this and if I told you like some of like the signs and synchronicities that I've received it was just out of this world like and spiritual warfare is so real like it is so real I'm telling you I've tried to make this video for like the past four days and the stuff that's been happening <laughs> it's insane like even today like when I put my phone on this little tripod it called 911 <laughs> like, uh, anyway there's so much more to this story but I was just really feeling pulled and feeling called to just go ahead and put this portion of my story out there and if this resonates resonates with just one person then it was totally worth it for me because every individual matters to God and I just hope that this video reaches who it was supposed to reach and who knows maybe I'll make another video um, but yeah, hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you later.